Yo, Gypsies, vlog number 10. So, um, took me a little bit to respond, but whatever, you understand. Underachiever, party of one. So, whiskey and beef diet, huh? Let me know how that's working out. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I took notes to, you know, make it a good one, but... Oh, so I kept trying to watch your last vlog <laughs> at, at work <laughs> when I was working at that electronics brand store. I kept trying to watch it during the off times when there weren't a lot of customers. <laughs> I didn't know what it was about, and it would be like, hookers! <laughs> so, and I'd like turn it off and look around and be like, can't let it say that at work. And then I turn it down and then I listen and I turn it back and I'd be like, hookers! These two other hookers! <laughs> I'm like, at work. I'm such an underachiever. Uh, yeah, so trivia question. I'm gonna tell you guys one, ask you guys one more time. We got a good prize for you. I don't know what it is, but we got a good prize. If you can tell us the state within America that has the highest pornographic internet traffic amount. You guys know what it is? Is it Anchorage? No. So, what does that mean? Yeah, don't, don't let this get in the way of your personal blog there. Uh, blog, whatever. And you can't juggle, you know, binge drinking and your weird diet and uh, two vlogs. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, overload you or anything. I, I made a note about Coffee Mate and Moonshine, but I don't know what I meant by that because I I made these notes a while ago. There's this stupid song they kept playing at that store while I was working. It was like, I got an ex-old man and an ex-best girlfriend. And I was just like, I'm going to stab somebody. They kept playing it over and freaking over. Oh, my song, though, that I'm is like my jam right now is Queen of California by John Mayer. If you don't like John Mayer, right there. You're so nice to our fans, Gypsy Heather, and I'm just totally not. So, I had been in Beverly Hills for three days, and when I made these notes, I have not found a husband yet. Still nothing, yeah, that was like a month ago. All I have to say is, when I do find a husband, I hope looks are like, really high on the list because I am tapped. <laughs> I figure I got like five years left of being hot before I'm completely unmarketable. I heard something on the radio today about China on NPR about, uh, I don't know, women who are like old hags and old maids at like age 27 to 30, potentially, particularly educated women, and I was like, Good thing I'm not educated. <laughs> yeah. So, married guys don't usually hit on me, but one did last week. I was sitting at a bar in Vegas, and this guy came over to me. It took me like an hour to get a guy to come over to me and buy me a drink. And finally someone came over, and he seemed like a really nice guy. And he was like, yeah. Can we talk for a few minutes? And I was like, are you married? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh. Well, he told me the truth. You know, he probably won't take a shot at me if he's been honest, you know. The guy still takes a shot at me. And I'm just like... He was a dentist from Portland. He was 49. Like, what are you, a dentist in wolf's clothing? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> so. That's my story. Don't hit on me if you're married. 
I'm going to look at my notes again. Oh, I was going to tell you to tell our viewers who Rick is, but I guess you just normally tell people he's here. <laughs> here bodyguard so yeah when we talk about rick he's the bodyguard Yikes. i don't know what that says either yeah oh yeah there we go okay cool vlog number 10 10 blammo yeah so that's all i got Ah, uh, yeah, trivia question, and let's see, let me ask you something. Nope, brain dead. Okay, bye.